Hello guys, welcome back to the Rising Tide. Now in this video, I'll be showing you how to create a carousel slider using the React Native Reanimated Carousel. So I'll also be showing you how to perform some simple configurations such as uh, configure the slide directions and uh, creating parallax. So if that is interesting to you, let's get started now. Alright, so here I have a blank React Native project with an app carousel component. Now if you check if you check out this component, uh, you're going to see it's an empty component with just the word app carousel which is displaying here. Right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to install a couple of dependencies of our project. So I'm just going to open the terminal, create a new terminal window using Control Shift Tilt. I'm going to run the command yarn add and the name of the library is uh, React Native uh, Reanimated Carousel. So you're just going to hit enter and that's going to install it for your project. Now I already have it installed, so I'm just going to close this, kill this, and exit out of this. Alright, so back into our project, into our app carousel component, the first thing we need to do is we need to import uh, the carousel. So I'm just going to come here. First of all, I'll set the flex here. The style here to flex one, that is to make it the uh, width and height of the container. So And in here, I'm just going to call it a carousel. And that's going to import it from React Native uh, Reanimated Carousel. So this is a self-closing uh, component. So I'm just going to close it like this. And in here, I'll start passing in some attributes for our, um, for our carousel. The first attribute you need, which is uh, mandatory, is uh, the width. So First, I'll set the width and I'll set it to a variable width, which, which we are going to create. I'll set the height, height, and I'll set it to be half the width. So I'll set it to width divided by two. Next thing I'm going to set is the data list because you must always have a list of items you want to display. So I'm just going to set it to a list. Yeah, and let's create this variable. So we'll come up here. The first thing we'll create is the width. So we'll say cons. Now let's just uh, import it normally. So we'll say width. I'll set it to uh, the dimension. And we'll get the window width. So one the window dimension and the width. The next thing we need is the list of items we want to uh, display so I'm just going to say cons list and I'll set that to an array and this, this is going to be an array of objects so the first thing we need is uh, the ID I'm just going to say ID I'm just going to use this uh, values here so the first one I'm going to change the first one to first item Next one, I'm going to change it to second item. The third one, I'm going to change to third item. All right, so um, I'm using, I have these images that I downloaded from uh, Unsplash uh, images. So these are the images that we use in the, in the final project, so as you can see here. So I'm going to import them up here. So come back to this uh, component I'm going to remove this value and I'll set it to require and I'm going to give it the path to the images so this one is the uh, images but the first one I'm just going to give it one I'm going to do the same thing for the other so I'm going to duplicate this line and bring it down oh, for some reason it's not coming down This one I'll set it to two. I'm going to do the same for this uh, other ones. I'm going to just skip this part now and I'll import all the images. Alright, so I finished importing all the images as you can see here. We have the uh, up to the six image. So 
Let's uh, render the item. So the next property we're going to give to this uh, carousel is the render items property. So I'm just going to say render item. And uh, just like uh, a React Native list, it is a flat list. It's going to take in the item you want to render. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to call it item, which is this data attribute that we, that we passed here. And in here, we're going to create a view that we want to render. So say, not that view, a view, no more view. And uh, I'm going to close the view down here. Now in here, we're just going to give it the, the image. So we're just going to pass in that image property that we use up. So I'm going to set the style to be styles.image. Sorry, IMG. And the source, we'll set it to the item list. So say item dot image this uh, image property here so that's the value we are going to pass in and now we're going to close this so uh, let me minimize this so you can see well all right so that is our image uh, list did we import this so let's check up here yeah, okay let's import the image now we're also going to pass in some styles to this uh, view container. So we'll say the style to be styles dot carousel item. Let's just call it that. Alright, so as you can see, our item is being displayed. So let's just uh, give it the styles for the component to make it work. So I'm going to come down here to this style. First, I'll call the carousel item. So it is carousel item. We we'll set the flex to one. We're going to set the justify content property to center and an align item property as well. Now we're just going to set an overflow property. So we'll say the overflow to hidden to hide any overflows on the images, just like the one you're seeing now. So we'll set it to hidden. And down in the image component itself. For we we'll just set the width of 100% and the height of 100%. So, say 100% here and down here, just set the height to 100%. So, so, this is our carousel being displayed. You can manually uh, shift it with your hand, but I'm just going to pass in some other properties here. Yeah, you can manually sl slide to change the to change the carousel item being displayed. It says expected comma okay here yeah, i'm supposed to give it this all right so inside this character item you can have other properties that you can uh that you can uh, use to control the carousel you can have something like autoplay i'm just going to set it to true Carousel is going to start sliding on its own. I can also set the paging enabled. This will enable you to keep track of uh, the paging being loaded. I'm just going to set it to use state to show you that you can use a state. So I'm just going to set it to paging enabled. And let's create that state up here. So I'm going to come to the top here and I'll import use state. to import your state and i'll create the state now so i'll say paging enabled and i'll set paging enabled by default it will be true not too true all right so another property that you can pass to it is uh the scroll animation duration that is how long you want uh, the animation to scroll for 
So if I say scroll animations, like we have an error, I know. I'll set it to 1000, so uh, that is one second. So it's going to scroll for one second. Uh, this says we have an error, use state is not imported. Uh, so, alright, that is going to import the use state. Uh, wait for it to display. Alright, so as you can see, we, we have uh, our carousel being displayed. Now, there are other properties that you can pass to it, like attributes that you can pass to it to uh, enable different functionalities that you may need your carousel to perform. So, this is just like the basics of uh, setting up a, a carousel in React Native. Alright, so in the finished product, I also created this. Uh, Hold on, let me pull up the documentation for the code. So I'm just going to open my browser. All right, so this is the documentation for the React Reanimated Carousel. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. So if you scroll here, you're going to see that there are a lot of different uh, carousel, uh, different customizations you can apply to your application to have different effects. And so there's a circular motion and uh, there's a lot of different customization uh so uh the one i used was this one the one you saw in the final product so let's go back to the code so to achieve this i'm just going to come back to our app component i already created this carousel that uh carousel animation so i'm really going to comment this and i'll import it so it's called parallax I'm going to import uh, this is the file so I right, so have imported that uh, this parallax and now we have commented this one up so it's, it's going to change to this other one so the attributes we pass to this uh, parallax is uh, this uh, parallax mode and uh, the mode configurations to have this parallax effect. So that's basically what makes it different from the other one. We also set a different width property. So you can you can see all of this in the documentation. So if you go to, we're going to come back to the browser here. So if you click on this parallax, it's going to take you to the GitHub repo where you are going to see the code for it so it is written in typescript and for bare react native so you can customize it uh for it to work on your project i'm going to leave a link to this uh i'm going to leave a link to this code on our github repo so do check it out if you want to you can feel free to clone it and use it however way you uh require for your project so 